Hey guys, if you've subscribed to the channel, you know I like to build antennas, and I travel a lot for work, and uh, you know, a lot of time when I'm not working, I, I, I have time to do things, and I'm over here in Poland for uh, five or six weeks working, and uh, had a, quite a few ideas of antennas I wanted to build, and, and I built them and had a good time with them. I usually keep them up for a week, so uh, you know, I put it up on the weekend and, uh, and, and run through that, you know, the end of that weekend and the start of the next weekend with the antenna. Uh, last trip I was here, I, I, I built a really cool, just a fun antenna. Um, it was, I made it out of six tape measures. I made a, a tape measure ver vertical antenna. So, you know, there's serious antennas that, that you want to build and, and experiment with and, and see what happens. And then sometimes there's just those fun antennas. Well, this week I built a fun antenna. And uh, I, I built it before, and I wanted to try it in a different environment. I made an antenna out of a slinky. It wasn't just the regular slinky, this is the giant slinky. It's about 70% bigger than a regular slinky. Still made out of steel, uh, same construction and everything, same uh, manufacturer as a matter of fact. But um, this is what I did. I, I took this um, giant slinky with a nine to one un, -un. I figured it, you know, it, it, I will build it like a random wire because you know, if you're familiar with random wires, they're not resonant. And I'm sure this uh, giant slinky isn't resonant. What I did was put it up on a uh, seven meter pole and, uh, and put uh, six counterpoise wires underneath it. I had the counterpoise cut uh, from a previous antenna that I made. So um, that's what I did and I put it in the air and, and experimented with it. So uh, here, let's check it out. Okay, here we go with the coax coming down from the second floor window. Here's the antenna. Here's my uh, nine to one on end. And uh, I'm connected to it. I have a piece of 16 gauge speaker wire that's soldered to it and then to the on end. And uh, the six counterpoise wires that are about uh, five meters long each that are connected to it. They were already here. Uh, from the previous antenna there's the uh, beach umbrella holder that i'm using nice threaded connection keeps it in there there's the seven meter pole and the super slinky up on the seven meter pole and i got it all the way up i used a piece of tape about a half a meter down so it's about six and a half meters in the air is the antenna as you can see and uh that's it. There's the antenna. Got a car going down the alley here. But um, there it is. The slinky antenna. Just for fun, you know? It's fun to experiment with different things. Is this a serious antenna? No. Will it work? I kind of think it will. I've used it before and uh, had some fun with it. It should be able to at least give me some decent SWR that I can use the ATU and tune it up with. But there it is. There is the slinky antenna and all its beauty and glory. It's going to be a fun weekend playing with this thing. Let's give it a shot. SWR for this antenna after I got it up was... Um it was all over the place, to be honest with you. It, but all in, on every band, it was tunable. I mean, it was nowhere did it get above, say, three point five to to one or anywhere in that neighborhood. It was all, you know, just like a, a typical random wire. It could be tuned with the ATU, tuned it and used it on every band. Um, some bands not so good. Some bands really good. Like the fifteen meter band. This thing was amazing on fifteen meters. Good afternoon to you, my good friend. A one two four five and nine fifty nine here north of the Arctic Circle. It's gone back so far, sir. But uh, just correct me on the call on the next over. Very good morning from Wales. Your five and nine, five and nine. Go ahead. Uh, QSL, thanks for taking the call. Your five is nine, five and nine as well. And that, that call is a tough one. Um, I'm an American here working in Poland. It's um, Sierra Papa Stroke. It's Kilo Four Oscar Golf Oscar. We got it. We got it that fast. Very good morning to you there, Poland. And uh, thanks for coming back to the call so fast. But anyway, 
I said I wasn't expecting anybody to come back. I was just uh, playing around with the radio and uh, just thought I'd put out a quick call there. But uh, yeah, hi, but my name is David and uh, we're located here on the western coast of Wales. Sugar Papa slash Kilo 4, Oscar Golf Oscar, Mike Whiskey Zero, Charlie Romeo India. As for the other bands, eh, not, not that great. Not bad though. I mean, I made Cusos, but they weren't stellar. Um, here's an example of 40 meters. Yeah, 40 meters, I, I made a, a, a few QSOs, but um, none of them with great reception reports. Here's an example. Okay, SCP slash Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar 4 GI. Not, not so strong, Walter. Not so strong, but uh, I give you uh, 4 and 3 at the moment into the QRM. Well, around midweek, um, the weather changed drastically here, um, and uh, I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you what happened. Well, this happened last night, <laughs> and there's the antenna still hanging in there, but uh, we'll see how it works now. I took and put a bag over the un un yesterday before the snow started to get, uh, to get it covered. I cut it on this morning. This is early morning now, and uh, the sun's coming up. And I could get reception, and I haven't tried to uh, get out or anything. SWR still was okay, too, so we're probably okay. Uh, the ground plane's under the snow there now, counterpoise wires. But, uh, wow, cool. Living in a winter wonderland here in Poland, and that's uh, what we got going on. Well, after the snowfall, it, it, things were still going well. I mean, the, the antenna still works, so, so th things seem to be uh, doing okay, even though uh, that, uh, all those counterpoise wires were under a blanket of snow. I was still getting out. Well, as the snow's getting deeper and deeper, the SWR on this thing's getting higher and higher. Um, I'm suspecting that the snow itself is starting to conduct between the ground and the antenna. That and the ground plane, the, the counterpoise wires themselves are now buried down, probably getting close to 15, 16, 17 centimeters, so six, seven, eight inches down there pretty deep. One thing that's really crazy though, as the SWR is rising on the hand bands, is that I'm just went over and checked out some medium wave with it. I was listening in on the medium wave for uh, absolute radio from uh, the UK, and it's coming in crystal clear here in the afternoon, which is, it never happens. So kind of crazy, but um, your thoughts in the comments. What's going on here? I really think that uh, I've got some uh, conductivity there between the antenna and the ground plane in the ground. Although uh, it's completely wrapped in a plastic bag, so I thought I'd make it out, but you can see, <clears throat> excuse me, that the snow is over it now and the ground plane itself and the antenna has somewhat of a uh, connectivity. was under all that snow was an amazing uh, uh, medium wave receiving antenna which I was really surprised uh, I, I do a lot of medium wave DXing so whenever I put up an antenna I always with my Zygu G90 go over and check it out but um, yeah it was uh, it, it did okay I actually did brush off the uh, the snow all around it uh, kind of cleaned it out and uh, got right back on the air everything was was working working well and working fine but um yeah all in all though pretty cool i mean 20 watts and uh, a slinky in the air um i was pleased with uh, with how it performed it was fun uh it's a serious antenna that i'd use every day 
Not really, unless. I think one thing I could do is, um, or if you want to experiment with this thing, is change the height. As you know, this thing electrically is all over the place uh, for height. So bringing it up or down, uh, stretching it out. Maybe uh, I thought about maybe taking from the uh, unun, taking a wire with a uh, like an alligator clip and move up and down the uh, the the coil on it per se. Just like you know, like a like a Wolf River coil or a Slidewinder DX type thing, moving up and down and see what what would happen. Unfortunately, with all that snow out there, I really couldn't uh, I, I couldn't experiment like I really wanted to. But at the end of the day, you know, it was a fun antenna to play with. I enjoyed it and, and had a good time with it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hey, get out there and try stuff like this. This is what it's all about. This is the hobby. And uh, experiment with antennas, experiment with radios, and, and have a good time. Anyway, until next time, I'm Walt uh, Sugar Papa Stroke K4OGO. Yeah, just for a few more days. And uh, I'll see you next time. 73, my friends.